We at What's the Play would like to apologize for not releasing the podcast on Monday, October 2nd. However, due to the horrific tragedy in Las Vegas, our podcast titled Who Cares, we felt would not be appropriate. We recorded this podcast about a day and a half prior to the Las Vegas assault on the American people. And we'd like to steer everyone to the official GoFundMe page for all the victims. And you can find that at GoFundMe.com forward slash DR2KS2 dash loss dash Vegas dash victims dash fun. Thank you. For my taxi cab. No one even rides taxis anymore. So I'm such an old soul. And it's body. Okay. <laughs> she packs her stuff inside. Live again on tape, but we are here live. <laughs> episode. <laughs> of I Luke, narrowly not? escaped. Okay. With my life. Really? Well, uh, we want you to tell us all about that, but we also do have a special, a very special man in, in the building. Oh, very yes, special. We, yes, man. we do. He lifts barbell plates. <laughs> he eats T bone steaks, and he's sweeter than a German chocolate cake. <laughs> How much more of this man can you take? <laughs> this is John, the fisherman. Hey guys, what's up? How you doing? I had a great day today. A lot of good things to talk about. Very inspiring. I'm very glad to be here. And it's not just fish he's going to talk about. That's right. Fisher of ladies. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so we have a special guest, John, Mr. John the Fisherman. But I think, um, Megan, it sounds like you were in a harrowing episode, uh, what, maybe Yesterday, yeah. Uh, yeah, I think it was. Look, that's how harrowing it was. I don't even remember. No, uh, actually, it was. It was uh, yesterday, and uh, it was. It was weird because I didn't even know there was a fire going on. Uh, all of a sudden, my dad comes charging through the room, Megan. I'm like, what? Wait, wait, hold on. You still live with your dad? No, I happen to be using their room to exercise, and I was actually doing a Zumba video because their room is huge, and I that's I needed that, you know. And he didn't even think I was home at, or at their house, and I, he was just going to go get the dog, and little he saw my truck in their driveway, and he's like... Uh, Whoa, you, thanks a lot, daughter, for coming to visit. Because, I, I, you know what, I didn't answer the phone. I guess he tried calling, but I, I had that in... You know, in my purse because mm-hmm. you know what was I? Come on, Wait, I just, well, if, if you're on Zoom, then, yeah. right? Exactly. Yeah, I'm actually I'm, I'm trying to do a video, and I was almost done, and all of a sudden I hear him come through, and he's like, "Megan," I'm like, "What?" You know, thinking like, "What? What's the big deal?" I mean, I, the dog was barking, yes, but I he usually barks at you know work. I mean, there's work going on in the house, whatever. I thought he was barking at one of the workers, but I guess <laughs> what I didn't know was wait, he wait, was wait, barking. Yeah. Hold on, real quick. You had one of the workers there. What did the workers well, do at Charles? You know, um, just because you know, my parents are having some construction done on their house, so mm-hmm. I thought, you know, there's there's been you know workers there. Mm-hmm. Whenever I go by, there's always somebody working. Whatever. I mean, but there's the neighbors have work you, on their. I'm just, I, just I'm just saying this because you are a Southern Belle, and when you say workers, it might have a weird. Oh, I know, right? Um, I know. People I guess. In and out. I guess like construction. I know. I know. Right? We do. I mean, that, it could be that too. I don't even know. That's well, how. Thank many... God. <laughs> thank God. But anyways, the point was That's the fire was God. going on, and there's firefighters blazing. I mean, like there's. Blazing. I mean, <laughs> blazing. There's the, there's fire there's there's firefighters ablaze. There's firefighters <laughs> ablaze. on fire. I'm just kidding. Almost, they were on fire. I actually saw flames wait, right at our neighbors. Wait, wait, hold on. Right? You actually saw firefighters on fire. <laughs> Um, well, pretty much, yeah, I did. There was a flame. There was no, I seriously, when, when I had it, when I walked out of there, my, my dad's like, come on, get out of there. There's a fire going on. I'm like, what? There's a fire going on. I don't even. Yo, but I just want to blaze with I'm like, that's, yeah. so I'm like, that's what the helicopters, I mean, the helicopters were dumping water literally oh. next door. Wow. And I was like, and all I thought was, well, finally that neighbor, it's one way to take down is rotting trees that were like, you know, overgrown. I was like, finally, Ooh. we had to, we had to get a fire started just to. Get him to trim his lawn or whatever the shit it was. <laughs> whatever the fuck it was. But the, when we walked out of there, all I know is that there's like at least like a dozen firefighters, and, right? Okay, so how excited are you at this point? Well, I thought they seemed older than what I imagine. I mean, I thought, you know, usually. You like older dudes. I do, but I don't know. Just 
They I gave don't you know. Guys the old crew. But Fire. there was like the well, I mean, there was some. I don't know. I was just so scared because there was actually I saw flames. There was like we walked <laughs> through flame. Well, kind what? of. We did. What? There was like what so the flame fire? was like literally from me to you. Like no, that's right. where the yeah, that's how close to the fire. And we were. we're practically sitting on top. I mean, of they each did other. have they did yeah. have it almost out, but there was I still there was still flames, and I was like, oh but my god, you guys gosh. missed one. <laughs> and I was like, what the hell? How did I not know this was going on? <laughs> Tell and me you lit a cigarette off that. I you know for a moment I thought, <laughs> like, shit, when yeah. did this start? Because I when did I last smoke a cigarette? At least it was definitely at least forty five minutes ago because that's. Before the video was, you know, I was oh, Zuba, doing the yeah. for at least yeah, good. Yeah. So I'm like, did I light a cigarette 45? I'm like, no, no, I, I did. You're right. I did not That's how I knew. I'm like, it wasn't me that started it. We've done it after. Zuba. Yeah, exa- exactly. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> and that's probably why I was pissed. I was like, fuck, I was just going to, I was almost done. I was going to light a cigarette. Okay, Megan, real quick. Do you yeah. think uh, there was some arsonists in the neighborhood that hate Zumba? Well, you know what it turned out to be? Because like I said, with the workers, I mean, construction workers. Construction workers. But our house my parents' house wasn't the only one. Wait, you what? Well, I mean, I see, I see our house the because my son... Look, at the, there was workers. No, there was workers also working on the neighbor's house. It seems like everybody's having construction done wow. on that street. It's really bizarre. They I don't know. around a lot. You know? It's really bizarre or you guys have a lot of money up there. And I, I just... I don't know what it... No, it's just because... I don't know. Yeah. Well, well, well while America... Well, I don't America, have any money, but, you well, know, whatever. No, Megan, definitely. She works hard for her money. That's why, if you guys want to... Uh, that's a very good in, uh, segue into... I love We're looking workers. for sponsors. And if anybody finds this podcast amazingly funny, or if you just kind of like it, we, or if you hate it, but you think that there's a large enough audience, because we're now on, what, our, like, eighth person listening? No, I'm just kidding. We're, I, we're <laughs> actually past at least over 100. We're past two, Definitely. And there's a couple of t-shirts <laughs> going out to one Jimmy Towner. Ooh. He's getting a t-shirt because he did ask for it. He's one of the original really? uh, listeners. Yes. Oh, all right. Yeah, so he is getting a t-shirt. Good and job, Jimmy. All right. Right on, Jimmy. To Jimmy. Yeah. Yeah. Jimmy. 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 Smith, right? <laughs> Jimmy Smith. What is this? 1992? It is. I know. Jimmy, we're going to get you a t-shirt. <laughs> Love you, Jimmy. Thank you. Uh, thank you for listening. But we also want to say, if anybody else would like to sponsor this, um, maybe the uh, Firefighters Association. Yeah, that would be awesome. We did thank them. I mean, they, they did do an awesome job. They put it out by, it started around 3, ended, they put it out by 8, 8 p.m. So they were efficient. Five hours, right? Yeah. Uh, yeah. I hope nobody got singed. Yeah, uh, I guess I was the only one still in the house, like in any house, and they evacuated every. Because I had no idea it was going on. Little, Did you I mean, have headphones on or what? No, I mean because I, I didn't have my my phone was in my purse, so nobody. And and then like yeah, it was pretty loud. I had it like loud, you know. So I'm just like, <laughs> and the dog was barking, and I was like, what the hell is he barking at now? And you know, I just had no idea. He couldn't smell it. The air conditioning's on. I didn't even smell smoke. I mean, you know, I got all the windows. So closed. that means it could happen to anybody. It could. I could have died. Kind of. I mean, I think eh, you would have not. Maybe. Eventually, somebody. I guess the police, though, did Probably try to knock on the door, and I didn't hear him because I was in the back of the house. Wait a minute. When the police knock at your door, they I mean, knock loud. But you know how it is. You know, you've been to my parents' house before. I've also never been before. I've never and you've also, if you're, if you're in the, if, but if you're at the back of the house, I mean, you can't, we can't even hear it. A cop knock? Is it anything like that? I was, it was literally, I mean, it was like, I felt like I was like in a. Like a soundproof, I don't know, it was like I was in my own world, I guess, my own Zumba world. But anyways. Never Zumba by yourself. <laughs> I know, never exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Had that fire spread, myself, the dog, and my Zumba video would have been up in flames. Did you just say video? That no, was I, 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 it was a DVD, but I had playing it. I had Blu-ray? No. <laughs> Surround sound? No, I had to play in my laptop because... <laughs> Not even a Blu-ray Zoom. Because I, I, I don't even know how to work their TV. I just like, I'm, I know my laptop plays, I, I have an optical drive, with, and I played it, and it's that's really how I did it. John the Fishman is an optical drive. Um, but, but this is kind of a segue, though, what I was trying to say to yeah. any sponsors out there that would love to sponsor our show. For a very, very minute price, we will blast your business across the world. People in Rome, people in the Czech Republic, which I hear have beautiful girls and brazil mm-hmm. which i hear have even more beautiful girls mm-hmm. and then even china which no never mind but then we also <laughs> got my go to um, there, go our, there go our chinese sponsors <laughs> just kidding we love china the largest people in the, i'm not saying they're not beautiful average uh let's go to canada and uh there's beautiful women in canada so any sponsor that has 
It doesn't matter if you're local here in Los Angeles, Orange County area. Or Mario's Tacos, we're talking to you because you just had your 50th anniversary I saw on the paper. Oh, what exactly. a nice plug. What a wow. staple. Do you know somebody at Mario's Tacos? No, I absolutely don't know Mario's Tacos, and we will edit this if they don't. Okay. They don't give us a, at least a free taco or something? Well, I mean, should, <laughs> Nobody I mean, wants to. How about 10 cents for the goddamn... 10 uh, cents a day. I mean, you know. 10 really? cents for an advertisement. Hard? No, it's not. about just like... A, a, even a penny a day. Taquito? Chili Reno? Like a Tuesday taco. Like Tuesday taco special, night. Like cater to our house. A free drink maybe everyone's... Anyways, the point is we will mention every chance we get how great your business is. That's right. So please jump on board because if you don't, the train's moving and you don't want to be the caboose. <laughs> so let's... So Megan, the end of the story is... End of the story Blaze is... 12 firefighters, mm-hmm. they all like loved you in your Zumba outfit. I would assume you have a fantastic looking <laughs> Zumba outfit. Do you have a big Z? That was Z? crazy. No, I thank God. But all I know is that like I was walking out sweaty, trying to catch my... But then all oh, of a sudden, I had to breathe in... out sweaty. No, I had to breathe in this black smoke, and I thought, oh, oh. my gosh, I think... Am I going to get like the black lung or something? Like, you oh, know what I'm saying? Lung. The black lung. Like the miners. <laughs> I, I, felt like I, was, I felt like I was working in a coal mine. You'll get black <laughs> death. Outside your house I thought, like, the what the heck? I mean, I, I would have been better off staying in the house. Like, Ma'am, really? Did you just zoom at least 15 minutes ago? Ma'am, I just stay inside, get an oxygen mask on uh, <laughs> No, ma'am, you're okay. You zoomed at least 10 minutes ago. You'll be all right. And then, right. You're and then, and then I'm like, what do I grab if my, if, if this, like, because I still had my stuff in there, my chain. I'm like, oh my gosh. I, I mean, you, you don't even think. Oh, I, I did grab my laptop, though, with Everything my optical matters, drive. That's the only thing I grabbed. Good. That Zoom, what, what's that? Like everything matters when it's about to get destroyed. That's right. I know, and I but. took my Zoom video. Fuck Did you me. get that picture from you and I in confirmation? Did you grab that? I think I have that on my laptop. That's probably why you know. That's what I'm talking <laughs> about. That's why you grab the laptop? You with your skinny tie and the eyeliner? Yes. Yeah. Everything's yeah. in my that, laptop. Oh, we could just take a picture t- uh, tomorrow and it'll be yeah, the same motherfucking picture, <laughs> right? Yeah. Exactly. We'll just bleach the tip of your hair. Yeah. Well, there it's you go. There. Uh, all but right, yeah. well, so we're gonna we're gonna uh, Move on. wrap this one up because I guess Megan's safe. Thank God. Yeah, fire's out. Everything's cool. It found out it was our neighbor. That's well. Oh wow! Are, well, I'm not. Oh no, no, wow! No. It wasn't even him. It wasn't. I, I can't even say him. Whatever. It him wasn't or her. him or her. It doesn't matter. It was the people working on that person's house. Wait, wait. He had workers too. Yes, that's what I'm saying. It's I don't know what's going on, but Disgruntled yeah, workers. I don't know if a spark, oh. whatever, but. Did you find out if he's... A red tag. Is he an athlete? I, oh, I don't even want to say because he's... No, he's in the medical profession. Get out of here. Like, psychiatry division. You've been, you've been stalking mm. this now. No, I haven't. I just found out the other neighbors asked already asked. Uh, yeah, we're very... But, yeah, no, but you kind my of... My parents, three, everybody you knows... You kind of found him very attractive when you rolled by. Uh, yes. I, it was different. I couldn't, you know, he was... So if your psychiatry uh, office wants to... Uh, <laughs> I know. Wants to uh, sponsor our uh, podcast, I'm sure a lot of your patients probably listen to this because we're all a bunch of nutcases and we're the number one cashier in the nut job yeah. house. So... Yes. Child uh, psychologist. We pay your I bills, man. We do. So, uh, well, thank God you're alive, Megan. Yeah, I'll thanks. Were, yeah, I, I, if you I, hadn't I, been wearing that flame retarded <laughs> <laughs> Zuma You're outfit. right, I mean, <laughs> It was flame retardant. They actually give you a flame retardant Zumba outfit when you buy the right, DVD. Right, probably, it, sure. yeah. We've given Zumba way too much. <laughs> I know, there we are. There a lot of fires starting around Zumba, like... Twisted. I know. <laughs> it happened more than once. Oh my God, to imagine if someone. Megan was playing that at full blast. I was, that's what I couldn't hear. I was, I had, oh man. The house could have come I couldn't even hear, sure. I didn't hear Burning a thing. down the house? I probably would have been yeah. up in flames, actually. I mean, I would have known it any better. I didn't know you went... But it was okay, though. No, I'm just saying. At least I would have yeah, gone no, no, no. on a good note. Well, yeah. uh, it's a good thing you're not up in flames. But maybe you should make a, uh, a shirt commemorative with yeah. like uh, that I you see. can buy on what's the play.net. It's going to have flames coming up the side of the arms. And it's Megan's Zumba outfit. It's just going to be a big Z, but with flames on the side. Saying. Saying, I survived <laughs> the great fire. With 12 firefighters or present. Zumba. Zumba saved me from the fire, maybe? Zumba saved yeah. me. No, Z saved me. You don't want to give Zumba oh, any love. Oh, okay. Yeah. I'm sorry. Yeah, then they yeah. want some money. Z oh, saved me. But it's so... Yeah. Aw- yeah. Do the Z. Z. I think you saved yourself from the fire. Zumba didn't right. do nothing. Yeah. I think the fire would never have... Whatever. You know? You're, you're very- fire, 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 Schmeyer. Whatever. Yeah, like, <laughs> oh, my God. Who the hell... hell? Cash. Doing something. All right, we're gonna stop. No one. That's right. So now uh, we want to segue to John, John the fisherman, and John is a special guest with us. He, yes, he's new to our audience, but he is not new to the What's the Play family. 
In what? fact, he is one of the founders of What's the Play. Mm. And we'd like to... Funny he's cat. been here from the very, very beginning in a smoke... Oh, God, it all goes back to fire. We went and had <laughs> brisket at the smokehouse. Yeah. And that's where we, like we that's wrote the directions. We wrote the plan for What's the Play. Yeah. So, John the Fisherman, yeah, tell the world your story and what you've been up to. What have you been doing in the last two years? Oh, what have I been doing the last two years? Finally came to shore. Let's keep it simple. <laughs> finally came to shore. Started a business with a great friend of mine. Oh, that was uh, nice. Well, uh, no, it was you guys. How are the oceans, I, I have though? another business. I know, I said thank you. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't know if you were saying great friend because I hardly ever hear that. But thank you. Uh, <laughs> so how's the ocean treating you? The ocean? Mm-hmm. Uh, I'm lake. terrified of sharks, so I don't go to the ocean. <laughs> but John, I, why did they call you John, or why did you pick John the Fisherman? Oh, that's a funny story. Um, basically, I was at a party and uh, just met like a new group of friends, pretty much. And uh, like, who are you? Like, John what? And then oh, wow. my other friend was like, John the Fisherman. All random, and oh, that's, that's how it happens. The Primus song, really good Primus song, check it out. So it has nothing yeah, to do with fish, huh? Nothing to do wow. with fish. Or the ocean. Or I haven't fished in boating or... years. Oh. So. Oh, I sense. didn't even know that. Wow. Okay. John the Fisherman. It doesn't like fishing. Uh, is, he, <laughs> did you, is that the end of the story? Yeah, that's the end of that story. Uh, but basically, uh, just been going to school. And did you also did start a... Uh, you opened a bar. Oh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> the store. Oh, <laughs> shoot. That's... <laughs> That's nothing small. <laughs> What's that about? Uh, just, uh, oh, just, a, just, I'm, <laughs> just a little place you can drink at and uh, have a good time. Uh, basically, lie to your wife. Say, <laughs> she's asking you where you're going. <laughs> going to the store, babe. We'll be oh, back in a good. few that's hours. That's good. Oh, that's good. But what happens when you don't come back with any groceries? Oh. Do you have like maybe fake groceries? Yeah, or like a couple just... toilet paper pieces. Rolls? We provide. A banana. Oh wow, what a fat <laughs> food bank! And if anybody if anybody tries to steal that idea, we will come at you with the full force of the What's the Play Army. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Cannot story. take that. Take that. Yeah. <laughs> Assholes. <laughs> wow. So like, say your wife's like, "Babe, this is another night you're going to the store." So it's like I'm a bar. We're eating so much. <laughs> is it is it like a it's was like a bar with like maybe little rooms like almost like hookup rooms or but Whoa. you know right. but yet you have like on stock maybe toilet paper or whatever somebody might just go running to the store for toilet mm. paper sweet um, pickles sweet pickles with horseradish uh, oh, maybe shit. some you know just simple things it's kind of like you the know? whole foods of the bar industry. but just simple things that you can just run to the store for oh I'll get that for you I'm just gonna run to the store and get milk maybe yeah, yeah, oh like that's a, a good it's idea like a food bank. I just buying this out right now. Oh yeah, toiletries and other crap you buy for your wife. Do you take EBT? Of course. (laughs) (laughs) It's like a little whorehouse, kind of. Wow. But Megan, Megan, can we? Am I living back in the? Not a brothel. A brothel. That's that's the word I'm looking (laughs) for. Gosh, I can't. This is a fine establishment. John the Fisherman. Brothel. I couldn't think. I can't. (laughs) Ladies (laughs) of the. That's a respectable word. Can we? What are we on Pirates of the Caribbean ride? Yeah. Jesus Christ. Sorry, I just got back from Disneyland. I think that's where I got it from. I'm thinking like pirates chasing like uh, what do you go maidens. Uh, <laughs> um, whatever. Poppets. Sorry. Is that what they're calling puppets? <laughs> <laughs> hey, puppets. <Poppets. Yeah. laughs> she opens the door. Jack like, the Ripper. He yeah. just you know. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Yeah. Well, Meg, I'm glad you're segueing that because <laughs> later on, everyone, stay tuned because we're gonna have our. The very beginning, it's going to be coming on October 2nd, and this is our month since we are a very supernatural podcast, which we haven't really explained too much lately in the past three. But we are coming with the beginning of spooky <laughs> October 2nd, October month. I just in time, it's just in time because Halloween's coming up, right? Yeah, that's kind of October. That's what that means. Yeah, right? I mean, that's where you're getting at. It's like this. Welcome to the spoon. <laughs> He's like Count, Count, Count Chocula. Count Chocula. We all love spoon. Frankenberry. What was the Sesame Street? So, Fun. so if, you just, if you just hold tight, the supernatural aspect will be in about uh, forty-five minutes. So, if you want to fast forward oh, through shit. all our bullshit, wow. fine. If you only like the supernatural, go ahead. But I guarantee you'll love everybody's personality <laughs> and everybody's story. <laughs> so next, John, can you uh, tell me what is it that you've been doing for the past two years? I know you and I have been sporadically 
We've been working together. You've been you've been far away, but you've been handling business and you've been pushing papers and you've been making the phone calls. <laughs> but we haven't really been in the same room for the last couple just recently. Yeah. Because you were on vacation for a little bit. So what have you been doing? Can you let America know? Or America? The world. I mean, a lot of it's classified. To be honest, <laughs> but, like, uh, the stuff that I can say is uh, been playing a lot of music, recording music, uh, doing research uh, <laughs> for like game development and uh, other things. What kind of music uh, projects have you been working on? Self-recording some stuff, uh, playing some with some other musicians and whatnot, talking about ideas and concepts. So would you say um, the Beatles, when they invaded America in 1962 or three? Four. Four, thank you. Um, you will crush whatever kind of invasion that they even attempted to do um, with your music. Well, that's I mean, pretty... there's no comparison, really. <laughs> I <don't know>. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, the Beatles are... Great but if you had, like, maybe, but... like, ten of those fans? Maybe if, crush if, Maybe if I, like, went to, like, Malaysia or some shit. <laughs> like, <laughs> something like... Maybe a little town in Iceland or something. Uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. What's, the, what's the play? It's very big in Turkey. Turkey? So, Fuck. Let's go to Turkey. Let's go. I'm yeah. hungry. Dude. Smoke weed straight from good. Turkey, boy. <laughs> all over your brain. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Is that really how they talk? I don't think that's how they talk in Turkey. Yeah, we're not doing that. Is that Kazakhstan or... uh... No. We're in Turkey. Yemen? Yemen? (laughs) No, that's that's a no-fly zone. Um, (laughs) So your music... um, Puerto Rico. (laughs) So so do you... Let me ask you, at the store, your bar... Yeah, what about it? I, Because I, I, I don't want to just say the store, because if you're just coming into this conversation... I like yeah, That's yeah, John's yeah. bar. It's called The Store. That's a good idea. Oh, it's fantastic. It if you try to copyright that, the whole way, copyrighted. all legal powers, what's the play? We'll come at you. So, John, when the store opened, do you play your own music in the store? Because I think that would be <laughs> fucking fantastic if you did. Yeah, I don't let any other bands play. <laughs> <laughs> like, I'll uh, call management companies and whatnot let them know that i have a stage and book bands but when they try and call i tell them that we're booked and when they come and see who's playing it's me and they're not very happy but um, i find enjoying out of uh, screwing over people like that jobs oh my goodness you feel me I feel you. I, I, don't, I don't think you find enjoyment in that. I think you the band's not so much because you want to support the bands because I feel that you of will course, have, you will definitely have, bands. yeah, you, you're you going to be having your own podcast coming up pretty soon. Yeah. Um, I believe it's uh, giving, <laughs> it's all the indie bands across America. Mm-hmm. Uh, or maybe in- not even just indie bands. Maybe just anything any that band. doesn't suck. Any band that John is in. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, no, no. Like I, I, I want to have a legitimate like uh, show and whatnot. Would Actually, they call you the new Kurt Loader? Kurt uh, Loader. If anybody understands who Kurt Loader is, he was some old guy back in the nineties that unfortunately we all had to grow up on. You I don't think that, that was his name though. MTV News. Yeah. Loader. Was it Loader? Yeah. Why do I? His last name, yes, was Loader. Wow, was? Yep. What yeah, that funky looking earth behind I him. do remember him, though, the yes. The funky yeah. earth. Wow. Well, yeah, and I know that's an yeah, outdated it'll, it'll reference. Comparable. Yeah. Matt Penfield, Kurt Loader. I remember yeah, that. had a baby that... But you're much better looking than both of them. Absolutely. Oh, I didn't Thank think you. his name was something else. But I it's do a remember. podcast, so you can't see yeah. me anyways. Talk. Kurt True. Loader, yeah. <laughs> but, How did uh, he get on, on TV so, with that name? Kurt Loader. So, Sorry. Just stuck on it. Loader. Well, old, Eddie was old. I know, and yeah, Loader. that was okay. That was a time well, when anybody can get on TV. It's how Canadians say louder. <laughs> <laughs> that would have been better. <laughs> <laughs> but he's Canadian, Le Louder. <laughs> so, John, your, your your podcast will be debuted uh, hopefully in the next two weeks. You're uh, trying to uh, n- stop the um, the practice of just shunning bands away because they don't want to like join the John Revolution. Um, basically, uh, I feel like he's going to, if we learn any more new information, we're going to basically be killed. Like, it's almost kind of like a classified, classified. I feel, yeah, I feel like, uh, you have to kill us. I'd like to give you a lot of, as much information as I could, but I'm getting that vibe. Yeah. So if you're a young up and coming band, they don't even have to be young. Even if you're like 65 and you haven't made it yet, (laughs) but maybe you make amazing music or maybe you sing great in the shower. John will put you on a platform. But he has to be in your band. 
<laughs> he definitely has to play guitar at some point. Or piano. Anything. Or drums. Or, or ukulele. Or maybe just a tambourine or, tap. Ooh, tambour fucking ring. <laughs> maybe just a tap on the tambourine. Juice just harp. <laughs> that, that's always the special. The flute. Part. Nobody plays the flute anymore. Kazoo. Kazoo. Oh, kazoo. Yeah. That's always yeah. good. No, but John, you are actually very talented. Finger symbols? A whistle? Finger symbols. Just a little whistle, maybe? <laughs> well, John, you actually are very talented. And I, I recognize that when we started to play together, and like, I'm like, John, can you just put up a riff over here? Oh, wow, you can play the bass guitar, too? Oh, wow, you can hit, like, a fucking, you can hit the drums. You were teaching a couple of our artists how to play the drums, even though you're not, like, you know, the most amazing drum player. Mm-hmm. You picked that all up just by being highly intelligent. Just listening to music. Was it from watching Absolutely. Uncle Jesse? Because <laughs> <laughs> Uncle Jesse. Uncle Jesse from Full House. Did you learn your oh. skills from Uncle Jesse? Everyone? No, I didn't. He was I not thought... an inspiration of mine. <laughs> really? Because, wow, I thought everybody learned everything from Uncle Jesse, but no. no. <laughs> Just kidding. Mm-hmm. Love you, John. So I don't much. know why. I, <laughs> I love you. Okay. Okay. No, but John, you, I know that you say that, that like, oh, okay, you, you just listen to music. And all of a sudden, it just came I naturally to it. It's like a I sign guess. of a genius, I think, isn't it? When you can just pick it up by listening to it and then play it. Wow. That's it's a not. musical genius. Kind of. Yeah, I mean, because, I mean, not everybody could. Not me. It took just me many years to Start playing play an piano. instrument, make it sound like how you, you hear it. I thought I was the greatest piano player ever. And I would walk up I mean, there at the piano recitals, and I'd say, everybody just... I'd, throw, I'd wear like top hat and <laughs> tails and I'd throw those tails out there and I'd like sit down at the piano like I'm going to play something fantastic. And then I would, Beethoven. Nah, 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 nah. <laughs> and then I would see like these other, these mess of a kids go up there and they would just. <laughs> your dad would probably whisper to your mom how much more well, of these. All I know is my parents, <laughs> my parents told me. one of those. But, well, no, they told me you were by far and away the best Trust. <laughs> yeah, well, that's right. <laughs> At that place. To this day, it's how you shaped your life. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> and then your dad said, well, maybe the piano's not for you, Stephen. Yeah. <laughs> I kept I kept trying. I kept trying. And then, and then it became stupid in seventh grade. <laughs> I'm sorry, Mrs. Crookshank. But, uh, John, I think that the, we have a, a, a very interesting uh, situation that occurred today. Oh, yeah. Today? Which one? Well, there's been a lot. Uh, but this happened. This happened at a Carl's Jr. We won't say the name. It is in Orange County. Yeah, 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 yeah. You despicable people! Wow. What? What was the? What was the problem? Wow, John doesn't. Carl's John Jr. doesn't hate on anybody except for people that want to play in his band. But <laughs> he's calling Carl's Jr. despicable. Well, the I certain see that. one, like it's a franchise one, as I learned today. Like there's corporate Carl's oh. Juniors and there's franchises. This one happens to be a franchise. And, um, so we, we, we what, I, what did you do like today, John? Basically, I, I was hungry today, and I went through the drive-through and ordered my regular hey, thing. Can we in the which mic? Which is in the mic? What's your regular which order? Which is uh, no. What did, you, what did you do? What's your regular order? You uh, went my through? regular order is two ch- spicy chicken sandwiches with no mayo. No, just, just no. And, just what, and um, what? What wrong with that? With no, they don't uh, have with no mail. What they have is the problem is is uh, the price is much higher than it used to be. Why Whoa! Would you, what was, Almost by diff- double, pretty much. It really? A dollar twenty nine before now it's two dollars. So my oh, order and it used to be on the dollar menu. I like, think. Yeah, back right? in the day right? when back. everything was nice and. Gosh, wasn't that just like not back in the day? That was just probably like six months ago. Five, six years ago. Are you maybe, serious? Wow. Cents, I'm so mad about the turkey burger, but go ahead. <laughs> yeah. Anyways, everything else on the menu is like. Just astronomically gone up. Their dollar menu's gone. Fucking everything is just completely in chaos. It's just complete chaos. And uh, so I order everything. Pay. It was thinking the, you got the enough. Food was terrible. You got five dollar bill. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah, yeah it was disgusting though. Yeah. It was disgusting. Like worse than any other Carl's Jr. I've ever been to. Wow. And we're not gonna it put them my on blast. Thing there. It was just yeah. I'm we, not going to put their name on blast. Was it even like, chicken? <laughs> but John, you, we yeah. were going to put them on blast. We were going to, and I we did call them to actually to find out what was going on here. Oh. And I, I really wanted to yell at them. Like I just wanted to yell at somebody yeah. because I'm pissed. It's one of my favorite right, well, places to well, go. So. We, we were about to yell at them, and we did. We we told them your, the plight of John the Fisherman. Right. But we want America to hear this live and direct. 
And Megan, too, because Megan, you have not heard this. I haven't. No, I haven't. I didn't even know. So I we mean, want to get your take on, on okay. who's right in this situation. Is it the people? Well, or is it the, the corporate establishment of Carl's Jr.? Or the greed. Franchise. The greed of. The greed uh, of franchisees. Yes. The greed of the Chris Cut fries. Now, I just want to make, like, I, I, there was no signs that said they still ha- offer it for, like, no, Adult, no, right? No, 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 no. Mm, okay, so oh. there's no yeah. false advertising. No so, okay. false advertising. Okay, just, like, just you hadn't been to Carl's Jr. in like a couple of years. Yeah, I was gonna no. say, how long was I've, it? I've been. I go to Carl's Jr. quite frequently. Oh, you just didn't Actually, order that like, before? Or? This is, it, it just started a week ago. Like I don't know when. It, it like was, they decided to raise it very recently. They just started wow. to raise the price when you came in. All of a sudden. They're like, like dude, he's coming in, put on the new fucking. Fucking guys, we're gonna raise rice state. We're not gonna. Menu. You know what, John? Maybe it was one of the band members that tried to get a show <laughs> <laughs> booked at your. At your if you really want to work with me, then that's a compliment. Thank you. <laughs> um, so. so here you go, Megan. Uh, for everybody to listen to, I gotta hear this. Here is John's call to Carl's Junior. Junior. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, uh, can I speak to your manager, please? Okay. Hi, uh, can I speak to your manager, please? Okay. Hi, Robert. Is, are you the manager? I'm with the prison in charge right now. She's off uh, for the day today, sir. How can I help you? Um, uh, I was there earlier today, and uh, I noticed that you guys uh, all of a sudden just raised your prices. Is, is this just like a for you guys, or is this all the Carlos Juniors? Okay, what it is is um, all these uh, um, all these sites right here, like all this area, all the Carlos Juniors they became franchise. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, corporate, corporates are selling all the uh, Carlos Jr. I get there, yeah. But with, with this, hello, are you there? Yeah, yeah, I'm still here. Uh, what they're trying to do is they're trying to stay with uh, 10% of the company. So they're selling all the Carlos Jr. on these areas. And um, not only a few. I think they want it in Peru and La Palma, still corporate. So, I think they want it on, so on, Bra- on, Bra- on Bradford and... Uh, Dribbling the Boulevard is through a corporation. All those uh, restaurants, like, um, not a whole lot, they still got corporate prices. But if you go to, um, like, this one here, or uh, the one in April and Rose, and all those other ones, they're franchised. Okay, let's say an example. If I become no, no, a manager. No, no, I understand the concept. You, you get it, right? Yeah, that's yeah, what it is. I understand. Um, yeah. But why, why should I have to pay for that? Mm, it's not just you. I mean, if uh, you, you you walk onto call corporate and ask them the same thing, you know, and they're gonna tell you the same exact thing. Then, uh, you know what I mean? So, okay, so let's say you, if you you're you're basically telling me I I have to pay for someone else to make money off of that's basically uh, what it is, and it's legal too. So. Same <laughs> as any yeah. other college junior. Uh, yeah, that's how it is. Let's say you own a restaurant, you, you put a, you sell a hammer for twenty that? bucks. You agree with that? <laughs> no, I don't, but I had no choice. We have no choice. I mean, I still have to buy a hammer. I still have to eat it. So, yeah, that's kind of, that's what it is. You know, that's why uh, you see the difference on the prices on the menu boards on the Carl Juniors. Unfortunately, you know, it's uh, uh, that's 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 what that's how it works. Hey, you, I know. You, you, no, no, no. You can you can work your way up and take them down from the inside, Robert. Well, uh, you know, I. I, I did, well, this is how I see it. I need the job, this is being and I just work for these people. That's how I see it. You know what I mean? There's nothing I can do or, you know, say nothing about it. Just being honest and telling the truth, is that's what it is. It's, uh, all these restaurants are coming uh, uh, are owned by somebody, and this somebody, 
he can sell the burgers at whatever price you want, and it's up to ask if you want to buy them. Dude, because, like, I'm never going to. As cool as you are, <laughs> I'm, I'm never going to your Carl's Jr. again, I'm going to tell everybody not to. Uh, uh, you know, Carl's Jr. is coming, yeah, yeah. like, Disneyland. I can't even afford to go to Disneyland anymore. Yeah, dude, it's Disneyland prices <laughs> outside of Disneyland, right? Yeah, like, insane, dude, insane. So now you get me. <laughs> no, 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 dude, I, I, I get you, but yeah, like, yeah, oh, that's, man, that's like, the... I was pissed right there yeah. today. Like, I'm sorry. Yeah, well, I hope, I hope when I tell you, you helped it a little bit, you know, and then, but that's how it works. That's how it is. Yeah. But you work to the call corporate. You go on corporate. You can go online but, and make a comment about it. Well, like, because uh, this is a franchise, right? Yeah, this is a franchise, but corporate franchise, you have to pay the right to corporation. Okay, That's so how it is. they still so have you to can... do what the corporate tells them to do, or like... Yeah, okay. yeah, so you can call corporate and ask them, you know what, you guys just suck. Why are you guys getting rid of your stores? You can tell them like that. Yeah, exactly. It's just, why, why do you guys uh, hate, hate, hate Americans? <laughs> I know. But you see, I, I, I think what, what I heard from corporate is that... Uh, they're trying to move out of the state. I don't know why, or they don't say nothing to us. You know, it's the employees. We, all I know is they're opening a, uh, a brand new distribution center in Texas, and they're opening a lot of stores in Texas. I think that's one of the reasons. I guess they want to move out or something. Wow. But yeah, the third guys, uh, these guys are. So Robert, real quick, Robert, real quick. I'm sorry. My name's Steven. I was there with John. Uh, you got, you sound like a, an amazing manager. We came with a lot of anger. But you, uh-huh. you're a good man. Yeah, you totally change this, turn this around. Like honestly, like. Uh, yeah, I mean, the, what all I, all I need to do is you know be honest with the, yeah. you know where it goes and feel different about this because I don't like it either. But you know I have no choice. Like I said, I need the job yeah, and I yeah, need yeah. to. Oh, no, Robert, no. Robert, we we actually yeah. are franchising restaurants ourselves. Uh, let's take the recipes. And you can call Robert Juniors if you want to. There you go. Yeah. That'll work. And I'll probably give you some for free. Yeah. <laughs> we'll sell those chicken salads. Uh, 99 cents. 99, 99 cents. Cent. Cent. Uh-huh. Yeah, before. I remember at one point we had a, a, a 99 cent menu. That That's not even close to 99 cents anymore. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, and how much were shakes at that time, Robert? <laughs> it was a dollar five. Now it's that's four right, bucks. my son. <laughs> Yeah, go to fight with taxes. Now it's four thirty one each freaking shake. Man, I have to see yeah. if I wanna shake. Honestly, believe me. Yeah, like yesterday I wanted to shake so bad I had to hide and drink quite myself. You, you can't even get one for free in your manager? <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you. I would just this do guy, it. This guy's like greedy and in the big money way. hunger. Yeah, so uh, Robert, yeah, but you're welcome to call corporate and you know, you can make a comment online and uh, you know show your feelings. Good for you. Yeah, it's not your feelings, you know, because it's no matter what, like, well, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put in bad things for the owner. The owner, <laughs> is gonna, he, he, he might as well have his pants no, on well, fire. Hey, Robert, you've been, you've been a badass man, dude. Thank yeah, you. yeah, you're awesome. Uh, yeah, yeah, you know, right? like, believe me, I feel the same way you do, because sometimes when I need to call, you know, my kids want to call, you know, I still have to pay, you know, whatever's in the menu. So, I feel the same way you do. Hey, yeah, Robert, so. you know what yes, else? Sir. You know mean? what else? What's that? Oh, never mind. You couldn't hear it, bud. Uh, I, no, I, I don't yeah. hear it. It's like a weird, little whisper. <laughs> yeah. Where's the speaker on this? <laughs> what the heck is that? <laughs> Oh, two cares, no? Okay, I got it. <laughs> All right, buddy. Uh, yeah, just go online and make a comment because I need to help these guys that are really busy right now at this moment. And, um, you know. Hey, um, uh, you've been awesome, Robert. Uh, take care of yourself, all right? All right, thank you, man. I'll talk to you. Take okay. care. All right, later. Bye. With a fast car driving by. Maybe. Ooh, yeah. with a fast you car know, driving by. Because you have to, yeah, you have to get that fast. Yeah. Are people like right. throwing like stuff at you? Throwing yeah, ninja you stars. Be dodging. There's going to be an obstacle course. Cigarette butts. More details later. Wow, <laughs> it's, it's like American cool. Gladiators, but for science fiction. <laughs> We'll post all that stuff later. We will. Get excited, America. We're, we're the, just the commentators. We're looking for three judges. Three judges in this world that know a little bit about science. Beautiful and, judges. Beautiful judges. <laughs> uh, beautiful uh, in which way? <laughs> Whichever way I feel like judging. All right. John, this is your uh, this is your baby. You run with yeah. it. You take well, that I'm sign. i got to change his diapers. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Well... 
Speaking of diapers. Uh, <laughs> well, wait, wait, wait. Oh. Before we move on. Um, so, if you are going to hold a sign, homeless people. Oh. Start learning how to spin a sign if you want people to pay you. People aren't going to pay you. Just sit on your ass and ask for something. Nope. Unless you have a leg missing or in a wheelchair or a limb missing. Some yes. sort of reason to feel sorry for you. Well, actually, that would be matter for you. You don't even what? care. Yeah, uh, yeah, 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 went to yeah, Chicago. Yeah. You didn't even care that a guy had no leg. I, I think he had two legs that were... Well, he was, it looked like he was harassing. I think he had two legs that were missing. I was very protective or, of you, make it on that trip to Chicago. But you're like, I'm like, this guy's got no legs. He just wants a cigarette. You're like, well, it does, it, there could have been a bunch of like... Uh, <laughs> Fuck it, a bunch of gang members behind him on skateboards. He was like reaching legs. out, trying to drag himself. Like, well, Chicago's, a, so. Chicago's a dangerous dangerous city in some parts. Otherwise, it's absolutely move beautiful. move on this ice. It's too slippery. <laughs> you had to push him off with his... shelter. And with you know what Megan did? She asked him for a cigarette. No, I gave him one. He asked oh. me. You're like, think, think, come the fuck a cigarette. Let's go. <laughs> Turn shit around. We're going to try and find a bar. Come on, get what the fuck a cigarette. I'm like, yeah. he's got no legs, I think. or he's Maybe can't. I didn't see that part. Because if I would have seen that part. <laughs> yeah, I think you said, fuck his legs. <laughs> wow. Fucking I mean, I, mean, I would never maybe, say fuck his maybe legs. Maybe you thought, okay, I'm sorry. Maybe you thought like, oh, that's a proper. If you were I don't drunk, know. maybe. Maybe, maybe, maybe like, I was saying, maybe. Make you want to fuck his legs, no, Megan. <laughs> Megan, that's They're the oldest trick in the book. The fake, the fake limp legs. Come on, let's go. That's right. <laughs> fake missing legs. I know. I think I'm going to do that for you guys right now. Let's see if I can if I can actually recreate. I can do it in a, a sandbox. <laughs> Come on, guys. <laughs> but, Look at that. It looks uh, like I don't either. Yeah. <laughs> that's kind of how he was sitting. Yeah. That's right. But he just yeah. asked for a cigarette. No change. Just just a cigarette. I could have. He had like a blanket behind him. He could have like four <laughs> legs. Cigarettes are no to see on the street. Right. You know, it's. I still think that's better. He asked instead of holding a sign. That's at least he that's has. True. You know, he, he put the words. effort in. Right words. Wait, wait. Yeah, yeah. He didn't ask. Skills. Yeah, he asked. He's like, "Can I have a cigarette, please?" Because I was smoking. <laughs> one. So I was well, like, yeah. He's a, he's an amazing person. <laughs> no yeah. sign, nothing. It was like be great. No sign or nothing. The a conversation that yeah. you get. Even if it's food, you can What if it's a $2 chicken sandwich? I'm fucking stoked. And be stoked because yeah. it costs some motherfucker $2 to buy that when it should yeah. be a lot less. Basically, ask for change. Don't hold a sign for change. Well, yeah. we're going to have our friend uh, Robert from Carl well, Jr. Yeah, <laughs> I know. Spin the shit. <laughs> we're going to be calling our friend from Carl's Jr. Uh, was it bi-monthly? Yeah, we're going to check in with them once a month. Once a month, not bi-monthly. Yeah. yeah that once a month. Nice. That's twice, twice a month. Yeah. No, yeah, let's just go once yeah, a month. We don't need to find out that much. We don't care that much. Yeah, right? but he just gave us some stock tips. Yeah. And totally. if you guys didn't listen to it, yeah, rewind it. That's not actually rewinding on a podcast. It would be. You didn't hear it the first time. You're smart enough to that's know right. what to do. Anyways. That's right. Learn a little. That's right. We were here. We told you from the beginning. You're here to learn. No politics. Just you're here to learn. So, John, <laughs> uh, speaking of learning, uh, we learned that maybe farmers only. <laughs> <laughs> we learned that this quite possibly might be a hidden gem or a shit show. Um, I think it's the latter. The first one you said, not the latter. The first one. Whatever uh, that term is, I got gotcha. you. The previous? A gem in the uh, molehill of shit. I don't know. That's it's, beautiful. You know, like it's the, the thing that... The needle in the haystack? Sparkly. Oh, what, what is it? Farmers only. Whoa, whoa, farmers mate, you don't know only. what farmers only is? You haven't, you haven't seen the Kamoi show? No, no, yeah, I think th- I think there's some right over there. Uh, what is it? Uh, like, right with the with the newspaper. It's friend. like the it's like a dating. Um, no, it's a dating, um, like a, online dating for ranchers. Oh, okay, like match. Right, but for like uh, yeah, but match. <laughs> <laughs> She's really lonely now. Walking the cornfield no. again. There it is. Do you think they will ever find this true love? Not hanging out with us all day. We used to be lonely. Until we met on Farmers Only. FarmersOnly.com is the new online dating site for farmers, ranchers, and good old country folks. You don't have to be lonely at FarmersOnly.com. City folks just don't get it. Wow. Who knew that? (laughs) Holy shit, John. I remember seeing that, but they, do they not run the commercial <coughs> much anymore? Or do they have a plethora they, of like really, farmers now? I think I, did I hear think that they're just you. a big. They're big now. What do they need commercials for? There's a lot of farmers out so, there, I guess. I guess there are. Well, this is a big I think country, it's... and on the other side, in the middle, that's where all the farming is in Idaho. And... But I think it's kind of a hidden uh, meaning. It's pretty much like uh, country western girls. Yeah. 
if you like don't that, like city if folk. If you're into that type of that thing, yeah. If you like Luke Bryan, learn how, to, learn how to be a cowboy. Okay. Like if you like Luke Bryan, and if you like Brad Paisley, uh huh, or Jason Aldean, and you don't like city folk. Uh, nah, they they you still call of, people folks. They a bunch of complicated. <laughs> I mean, have you ever had red eye gravy? Have you ever been to Waffle House? No, we oh, have. That's great. Waffle House. Is are these people that like grits too? Yes. Wow, Megan, have you never traveled the United States? America? I just, I'm sorry, like white tay. I saw my cousin Vinny. <laughs> well, you are you are definitely a combination between Joe Pesci and Marissa Tomei. You're the beautifulness of you like you're the beautifulness of Mr. Tomei, but you're the. <laughs> Fork the, tongue, the <laughs> fork tongue, New York lady from the south, <laughs> South Bronx, with no manners, with no manners. <laughs> but John, um, uh, thank you for bringing up farmers only because I don't think uh, people um, realize just the opportunity. It's it's huge around here in California. <laughs> like, what if no one really thinks of it? And uh, do you have a do you but, have a profile in there? Do you want Actually, to find it's it's not my profile, but we did make one for a friend of ours that's uh, currently in the penitentiary and mm. uh, needs some pen. I thought he was going to Penn State. <laughs> we're, we're, I don't, wherever he's at, he needs pen pals, and uh, oh yeah, you know, uh, I think we're going to try to find him some. So what can you tell us, John? What you did a little earlier, and we will post this on uh, uh, Facebook.com forward slash What's the play? Yeah. Uh, um, of the I, actual photo that you uplifted of your pen pal, <laughs> Penn State friend. Um, the I'm photo I used is him and a ex coworker sitting on a bench and. Uh, Ooh, country folks don't like that. Cuddling, I guess. Wow! But is the ex coworker a male or female? They are both male. <laughs> <laughs> so what you're saying is, this poor man who is wasting away. It's a awkward photo, but I think girls will like it. So when he graduates from Penn weird. State, he's probably going to get killed by one of these Ooh. <laughs> farmers. Or are you trying to say? Are you trying to say that the girls from Farmers Only like men that they can write to in, at Penn State? Yeah, they, they obviously you get like ten plus tough points for being there in mm, the first place. That's and absolutely right. That kind of stuff. when he gets up. When he gets up and he doesn't have a, a weird accent, because you know he's going to. This kind of feels uh-huh. like a catfish. A yeah, a little fish, bit. A little oh yeah, fish. it's going to be it's called Catfish oh, okay. Live. <laughs> <laughs> Farmers Catfish. <laughs> well, fishing for uh, by John the Fisherman. <laughs> oh wow, John the Fisherman is a cat fisherman. <laughs> Who knew? <laughs> Who knew John the Fisherman is a cat fisherman? Um, when you start fishing, you you learn to lack a certain type. <laughs> <laughs> the 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 fight. It's all about the fight. I'm just wondering what kind of people are on this. Yeah, uh, John, could you give us a... What a country folk look Oh, wow, John is actually bringing up um, some of the uh, beautiful ladies from FarmersOnly.com. And uh, we'll, we definitely will not use your name. And I know if you're on FarmersOnly.com right now, you're absolutely like cringing in your car. All right, so John, look at We're here live looking at Cowgirl. We don't want to get the rest of it. She's from Twi- Ch- Twino. She's from Chino Hills. She's 22. Of course she's from Chino Hills. Yeah, what do you think, Stephen? Yeah, she's, she she looks actually very attractive, kind of, uh, but you know that's her best picture that she's put forward, and we appreciate you, Chino Hills, cowgirl. Um, do you think she really is a cowgirl? No. I don't think so either. I don't think so either. But Chino Hills is the spot to have them. It smells like cow shit. Yeah. A little bit. No offense, Not Chino Not so much anymore. No, it used to. It, it used still, to. So got rid of all that. Green River, cow pie. Would you say, let's thumbs up to her? Thumbs up. Okay. First of all, I can't be- Oh, God. Oh, no. oh, this is another cowgirl, but this one's from Lake Paris. This is terrible. 18. Oh. 18, and she's looking like that. Jesus Poor Christ. Poor girl. Poor girl. Goodbye. Uh, she got a lot of ranching. All right. That's She'll be on the ranch for a long time. Yeah. Ooh. Whoa. That's definitely. That cowgirl doesn't look like a cowgirl at all. No. Vesalia? Uh, she looks like a. a say. Uh, I would say definitely a thumbs down on her. I bet that's a bot. Okay, this one. 18, huh? These yeah. girls are looking way too old to be 18. I don't believe them. Yeah. Uh, how come all of them are called cowgirl? Fot. That, that's their username. I know. How come they're all using cowgirl, though? <laughs> because that's what... It just gives you one. Oh, you're a farmer. Yeah. Oh, okay. And it, well, this cowgirl... Sure, this but... cowgirl from Anaheim looks like she's never seen a ranch or a cowboy hat. <laughs> but I know she's seen... I know she's seen some she's, pondusé. Yeah, someone's gone in there. And I know she's seen... Uh, 
huevos rancheros. <laughs> and I know she draws in her eyebrows. <laughs> wow. Let's say thumbs down to her. We got we got maybe two more. Oh, look at this one. Looks very sweet. Oh, she's farm girl. 20. That's a bot. Really, that's a bot? For sure. I mean, that looks like... But Megan, if you were to be on here, maybe people would say that's too perfect as well. <laughs> oh, yeah. Sure. No, I'm serious. That looks like the ad. For, I mean, I think that I saw that ad like in... Uh, farm Mac- Girls Monthly? <laughs> All right. So would we say a thumbs up? No. I'd say thumbs up. If I'd say thumbs real, up. If yeah. she's real. What? Maybe you want to message her. I've never seen anybody yeah, like that, Anna. I never. Oh, we're not paying for that. Trying to get pen pals. Oh yeah, that's right. right. We yeah, just want. We just that. want our friend at uh, Penn State to get some acknowledgement. Yeah. Maybe they'll yeah. find his uh, his ambiguous lifestyle. You may find him charming or something like his personality and stupid jokes. Mm, he does have a. Yeah. He has uh, those it, old dad jokes. Yeah. You know? mm. those, those dumb ones. There. Like, do you know? Like, do you know one of them? I don't know, but you. I can't. I know. You can probably get it off a popsicle stick. There's you know certain, those popsicles. Yeah, you, it's a certain ex- execution. <laughs> Lucky loggers. <laughs> you know those popsicle sticks for kids. <laughs> well, we want to thank John for joining us and showing us the world. Actually, uh, who knew that Farmers Only? Hey, no problem. Uh, was such a fantastic uh, site. Um, well, not really, because we're looking at. Yeah, this is. Because you know, I only date girls at least. 25 and under and right now I'm, there's yeah, no reason for me to actually happy. be on farmers only so yeah we'll we'll get into this later but, but the, the farmers only we because we, we did prep before this and so we we looked at some of the farmer girls and this yeah, round they, yeah, is what this, the c team yeah, this is the f class f wow the f, far- f class would you say the f troop f troop well because he, he did show me this site uh we did some research this week oh and so we kind of Took a look at farmers only just to kind of uh, yeah. keep abreast on the subject. Yeah, and F Troop is good or no, bad? No, no, no. What I'm saying is that that it's was bad. there oh. was a, there was a lot of beautiful girls. Oh. Um, and except this time now, when he's pulling it up, they look like the cows. Well, I mean, some of the ones that you pulled up so I want far, to cow tip all of them. They're not that bad. I mean, I no, mean, that's ridiculous. Yeah, no. that's it's ridiculous. good. I, would, I I I guess I was expecting like, more of like Caucasian uh, farmers. Yeah. <laughs> well, I don't know. I mean, hey, I, look at. <laughs> the Latino girls are rancheros, rancheras. I know because I used to flow clinical dance. Anyone, if like, you can go into any bathroom you want these days, you can pretty much yeah you know, say we say I'm this. And yeah, that's true. I know. Oh, I, I got you. I got you. Yeah, uh, like you know, you're from the south. Yeah, exactly. The south of everywhere. <laughs> the south. Of- <laughs> that's good. So, John, we want to thank you very much for joining us. John, I'm sure you will be getting the word out, and hopefully someday another band will be able to play at your bar. Yeah, it'll happen. I'm making arrangements for that. That's beautiful, because uh, an amazing man, and uh, you can pick up his T-shirts. He's got got an array of T-shirts, including Megan's Flame shirt. Yep. Uh, But he has an array of T-shirts that's going to be displayed on the merchandise aspect of what's the play.net. That's right. So uh, he has a... uh, an amazing warp sense of uh, the world, but I think. Every, but you know what's funny is everybody likes his uh, view a lot better than mine. Yeah, and well, yours. Yeah, You're, that's true. Yeah. Just a more simplistic kind of easygoing. I wouldn't even say that. Just would, easygoing. He's just no. I would say it's pretty much. Uh, no, pretty ours warped. is not easygoing. Yeah, I mean ours is pretty work, but his is pretty easygoing. Yeah, but for some reason people like John. Yeah, because he's like just easygoing. Goes with you know what I mean. Doesn't yeah, they uh, hate us? Yeah, because we were. But too- you're still listening. <laughs> You're still listening to this podcast. So uh, <laughs> we have a little uh, – we, we touched on it uh, a couple weeks ago, Megan. Your friend uh, Dana. Dana. Uh-huh. Dana, yeah. Remember uh, I, we, had, we had talked to her. Uh, I, I, uh, yes. You got out with her a couple times. I've gone out with her a couple times. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, a couple times a couple years She's earlier. She's a great person, yeah. Fantastic person. And it, it, out of all the years knowing her, though, it was so weird. You just brought it to my attention – I didn't realize this, that I think she was catfish. I think she was too. Um, and what's really upsetting about this whole uh, catfish situation is I had to listen to it. Because <laughs> uh, I said, Megan, Megan, you said, why don't you go meet my friend Dana yeah, at the Roosevelt? she's a pretty girl. She she's, is. I mean, she's got, I mean, just the ideal. And back in the day, I did find her very, yeah. very attractive. Yeah, and it, you got a second chance too. I did have a second chance. And you know what? I took that chance and I crumbled it up and I threw it away. <laughs> Because I didn't want that second chance anymore. Because I gave her the opportunity because I thought she was uh, a very beautiful girl yeah, still. Yeah, yeah, But we sat down right by the pool at the Roosevelt. Yeah. You know, um, a very nice evening. Of, uh, nice Wednesday evening. evening. It wasn't like yeah. a Friday evening. 
Because she's so easy going. I mean, just, you know, I, but it was kind of like, what, Debbie Downer kind of? Well, yeah, I would say Debbie Downer because um, she started out the conversation like this, Megan. And you could tell me if okay. if, uh, if if you would have ran away from the situation okay. at least 15 minutes in. I did okay. about two hours. <laughs> okay. So I sit down with her. So she, wait, she says, hi, how are you? Like, She's like, you- hey, good to see you again. Okay. I said, thanks for meeting me at the okay. Roosevelt. Okay. I'm, I'm a big shot. I'm a big guy. I, why don't you go over to my suite over here on the pool deck? Were actually, you just by yourself? No, actually, it wasn't my suite. It was a, a producer friend of ours okay. that was actually staying there. But I decided okay. to yeah. say that's my room. Yeah. Well, There's, whatever. I mean, it's, it's, hey, it doesn't matter. Either way, yeah. Who cares? Who cares? So I sat there by the pool with her, you know, just stretching like a... Like yeah. a like a, oh, doing that kind of like, like yeah. no, 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 just like the Hollywood producer. Oh yeah, of course. I, like I, oh, I've had uh, so many, made so many deals so, today. Too, so many deals, so <laughs> many women, but I'm here with you, and I only have about a two hour window <laughs> from nine to eleven. <laughs> it's good to see you, uh, friend from the past. <laughs> so, and she was cool. She was like, no, happy. she was actually very like, humble, and okay, I was, yeah, yeah. I actually was very humble. She I'm was just smiling. Kidding. She was in a good smiling. mood, like nothing to make you seem like okay. Absolutely, everything not. was going good. Okay. And then she pre- proceeds to tell me. She goes, "Oh, I said, well, what have you been up to, Dana? Oh, okay, yes. And, okay. and after I've already talked enough for the both of us, a lot of years though, you're asking about because right, up I, to I fit in everything <laughs> that I need to. Years. <laughs> I fit in everything I need to that I've been doing this, this, yeah, this, yeah, this, yeah. this, this, and I'm absolutely successful. And her answer was... Wow, that's very nice. And I said, wow, I didn't have to even say that because you're still that sweet girl. From yeah, day. yeah. Just kidding. I would never say that, people, because yeah, I'm a very right. humble man. But I want to see what her, out of all of those years that you... I just said I've been up to something. No, but and that's what she said? No, that's why. No, said. but the, she said her answer was, oh, what have I been up to? Oh, I've Yeah, been... so she left... I, I Unfortunately, I left the gate open to what have you been up to? <laughs> and I said, Dana, what have you been up to? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Top that, what I yeah. just talked about. Yeah. He can kind of like stay on the positive note. Yeah. Yeah. Like I've been, I'm pr- pretty much Tony yeah. Robbins of yeah. uh, one like, city. Yeah. Kind of like match that. Maybe, you know, like kind of, <laughs> you know. <laughs> I'm the Tony Robbins you of like four or five friends. kind of want to hear a good story friends. too from her. You're, you're right. not, yeah. No, I know. Okay. I just keep, like to keep it light. Yeah. Yeah. So I say, I say, Dana, Dana, what have you been up to? And so she says, what have I been up to? Well, basically it's been the toughest Two years of my life. Oh. Would it be one year or two years? Do I don't know? know, but you, like, what, you got her in the middle, she just went through it, or what? <clears throat> well, the way she talked, but she said two years, I oh. remember, or maybe it was one year. She, so she, Probably she, just one year. Wow. So, so you picked the wrong time to ask her out again. <laughs> well, yeah. Right. So I said, what do you mean? And all of a sudden, I'm like, oh, God. Oh. I just got some, like, yeah. used and abused. Like, I don't even want to deal with this chick. And I was, I really wanted to be there too, because I remember, you know, but. We were all excited for this. Yeah, I know. And I said, what have you been, I said, the worst year of your life. Well, please tell me, Dana, what have you been up to? Yeah. And she says, well, I lost my, I lost the love of my life in a horrific, I keep saying that because last time there was a horrific car accident, but. Yeah, th- no, this wasn't a horrific yeah. accident. This was a, uh, a, a f- speaking of fire. Oh, oh, and we're bringing around full circle here. Oh, no, what? He was a, oh, He would have been up there saving your mountain. Had he not died a year earlier oh. in this situation. I remember hearing about, I mean, I, I remember hearing the story afterwards. You told, I mean. Yes, I and, told you. And then the weird thing is that we believe this, well, I mean. What, why wouldn't you believe this? Right? It's a horrible story. She I said know. she was almost in tears and in the love of your life. If the love of your life dies. Yeah. I mean, uh, it's going to take more than a year, maybe two years, maybe you, three. There's never a yeah, piece of yeah. your heart. You know what's weird though? Hmm. I didn't actually research the story to like years and years later. I think that's what she was banking on. <laughs> I think she thought that nobody know. had the internet. Yeah, I, I for some reason I wasn't like. The... I think that she would felt she would have felt that like wow, uh, that's such a sad story. Why would you even look that up? Yeah, I just I, I just want to see what this person lo- like her right. love of her life looked like. I guess absolutely. So we did our research, and come to find out. Um, he d- he was a firefighter, but she did say that he died in this blaze well, of inferno. Maybe he was, uh, he was fighting on, an old fire. He was on the house. way on the way to a fire. I know that's what we oh, found yeah, out. Oh yeah, in the yeah. Mm-hmm. So he and, and nobody wants to uh, uh, diminish his career. Oh, yes, yes, I because mean, he did put his life on the line. Yes, he did by right in the back of the fire uh, truck. He was in the wrong spot, and the, the fire truck fell over on the way to a fire. Yep, and he was the only one that got killed. Yes, and everybody walked away like with no scratches. It landed on him. It landed on him. That's a terrible situation. 
and I'm not diminishing his his record at all. I know. Firefighters put the, themselves on the line, like like as you saw. Yeah, yeah. They you, blaze with you. You know what? You know what happened though. When I when I heard this, I, I the vision I kept getting in my head was remember when the wicked Fake? the house fell on the wicked witch. Oh, are you just? Are you trying to say that he's? No, no, no. I'm just saying, like, I don't know why that image. I'm just seeing like, like legs with the curled up oh, toes, oh, and the, like elf shoes, and they just doesn't. Oh <laughs> no. Well, I don't know. No, because you know what? That, I mean, why? It doesn't even matter. It doesn't even matter. It's horrible. horrible. It's, a, it's it's horrible, horrible, horrible. But whenever I think of anything falling on somebody, I just okay. That's right. You know, people people die on the way to duty. Yeah. People die on the you know in the line of fire. But if they're putting themselves on the line as public service people, we have to give them all the respect. You know, because, yeah. But I think... He was young, too. Young. Very oh. young. But I mean, that's the... Maybe he would have switched sides. <laughs> but you know what the real tragedy was? The real tragedy was this. I didn't get laid that night. <laughs> and <laughs> because I was so sad. So sad because... And you don't even get sad. I was in tears. Yeah, talking wow. about this, and because and, she couldn't get over the fact that this guy, the love of her life, I know, died. I was like, early. "Oh my gosh, the worst love." I mean, that's horrible. That's and then, horrible. years and years later, we actually kind of we found out that he was married, <laughs> and it was that, not. I don't even know if he knew who she was. It was not to her. <laughs> no, I'm not, really, and it was definitely not to her. And I don't know if she, he maybe he went on a date <laughs> with her. He might have stayed with her like two nights. And I and I asked and I asked her. I'm like, "Hey, um." I don't know how to bring it up, but I was like, you know, <laughs> you know, I'm looking at this picture and it's so weird because, is he married? Because I'm seeing this picture of his wife and what? You were the one because you're the Hollywood man. I, I, but I, because I didn't know. I'm like, am I getting it wrong? Am I looking up the wrong? For, and nope. 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 That uh, he, definitely, he had a wife and uh, I don't think she was allowed to the funeral. He was married Actually, for Actually, I don't even know if they even knew who she was to allow her to the funeral or to ban her. And he was married for a good six months. At least, and he knew her for like his high school <laughs> sweetheart. So I have no idea who the fuck she was talking about that night. But you know what? It was such a such a sad night. I went back to that my friend's place that I was trying to say was my place on the water, and I don't know. I just I got into the covers and I just turned on. <laughs> you should have put a firefighter <laughs> outfit on. <laughs> oh shit! Then you'd ask me to go save your house, and I don't want to do that. <laughs> So, yeah. to everybody out there, this is another tale of catfishing, and we don't we don't blame Dana. We don't know if it's catfish or maybe maybe he somebody let, was a, he somebody, let her on, or maybe maybe there was a She's side smoke up. Maybe her she house? was a side. <laughs> was she maybe was I don't know like a I don't know. Has anybody out there ever been like a side piece but never knew it? Right. Right. Well, we have we have somebody here that you know raises well, I in. knew it. Oh. No, I mean like, like <laughs> see, okay, like, you knew it. People that didn't know like it, it like, were the, was anybody fooled into believing that you were the only one? You were the only one, me, in a person's life. You were not fooled. You said you liked it. You knew it. Yeah. No, but like somebody afterwards. that that didn't know. Oh, afterwards. Oh, afterwards. I don't. Oh, but at least you admitted to it. You yeah. didn't talk about it a year later and and miss out on the glorious opportunity that I, that was me. Yeah, with Roosevelt. I don't know if any of us really know anybody. That's a great story, though. I mean, what? I don't even know if she was. This, who knows? I don't know. Oh, but no. this firefighter was definitely. I was so bored with her. I mean, this guy, this guy had the moves, obviously, because he thought. I mean, yeah, he he obviously. Well, he got her before like we somebody else catfished her. Maybe there was somebody else out there that he also got too. We would like to know. Imagine, anybody, you know what? Imagine if he had all these girls lined up, and the only way that he got caught is because he was on the I wrong know. side of the, of the fire truck, yeah, and it flipped over. And all these. Otherwise, girls, he would have been. He would have had a plethora yeah. of ladies across the country. Yeah. And then, he died? But yeah. He died. And none so of them... That's what she said. Yeah, he did. He did, but he was married. But he was married. Just not... She was telling me that this was yeah. her, like, her, yeah. her, the love of her life. And they still talked, but he was married. What the fuck? All uh, right? right. And, and I, I think it was explained that, oh, but yeah, it was just because... Yeah, he, uh, the girl didn't <laughs> like me or something. Something stupid. She said? Oh, he just married somebody just like, just to... I didn't hear that part. Uh, I didn't hear the marriage yeah. part. Otherwise, I would have thrown her in the Roosevelt pool. <laughs> <laughs> That's a nice pool. It is a nice pool. They and did it? Did they? <laughs> oh, that's right. That's right. That's right. Oh. Um, I think that uh, if you're going to tell a sad story about that, why not be the Roosevelt? Oh, please, Dana, don't be listening to this. <laughs> <laughs> Man, Dana, you really disappointed me that day. And uh, I told you go out with her. Still. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> If you're listening, Dana, you email us at info.whatstheplay.net, and we have uh, some of our uh, 
production team here, <laughs> assistant producer, he that will are, go out with you. And they're dressed it up. And he fire. doesn't. He, oh, yeah. Oh, my God. There's been so much fire. And when there's smoke, there's I, fire. Oh, man. This is. Oh, so I let's. Know. a lot of smoke. I, let, oh. Let, <laughs> so let's. <laughs> speaking of smoke, it's time for. It's time for the witching hour. Oh. It's time for our first. Oh, shit. Oh. It's time. Hard edit. <laughs> I was working in the lab in an age of light when my eyes beheld an eerie sight. For my monsters from his lab began to rise, and suddenly, to my surprise, he did the match. He did the monster match. So, basically. <laughs> this is the beginning of October. Von? Why am I talking like an Eastern European? Like the Count. Yeah, like, yeah, like Sesame Street. Yeah, like the like Count. One, the two, the three, the four. You know, up to four now, kid. So, we're, we're going to be... Yeah, turn this we're going to be celebrating the whole month of October... With our spooky, sto <laughs> spooky oh, stories. Sorry. <laughs> and we have a very, very... And these are all ab absolutely true stories yes. of the supernatural. True stories we made up. That is. <laughs> <laughs> just kidding. Megan. Just kidding. I'm just kidding. They are true. They are true. It's crazy, but they're true. The scariest yeah. might have been us doing this podcast. <laughs> I don't know if it leads back to Stephen or my son, but I think oh. either one of them could be the culprit. <laughs> uh, he's still giving me problems, huh? I don't know. I think I think you guys are teaming up. Maybe you guys both like. Did you guys yeah, play? I've been, I've been passing the Ouija board? Tele telepathic notes. <laughs> I think you guys got on a Ouija board, and that's how no, it all started. I uh, made a sigil. <laughs> It's for everybody out there that knows what that is. <laughs> I don't even know what that is. That's right. Wow. That's why you don't rule the world like I do. I thought sporadic was going to be the word of the day today, but nope. wow, you just took it a whole other Sigil. level. <laughs> it's black magic. <laughs> I know. That's why it's scary. It's not, it's, and that's not racist. It's I know. black magic. Um, what I'm saying is this. We're going to tell a little story, and this is true, about me living on Ambridge, I believe it was. All I know is that... You have the craziest stories, and they sound ridiculous, but they are Absolutely. scary true. Uh, exactly. It's, you can't make this shit up. No, I know. I wish. I always <laughs> loved the supernatural, of course. Who doesn't? But I never really thought that, oh, yeah, the, your bed's going to fly up and stuff. Or, um, <laughs> I mean, I but I did, I did move into this house, and it was old. It was one of those old Fullerton, um, what are those, bungalows? Yeah, I'm getting nervous because I'm thinking like... Uh, you were there. No, I know that, but I'm just saying like it seems like... Uh, Everybody that you've known. They all passed away? <laughs> something crazy has happened to them. Oh, not I mean, me, though. Oh, yeah, not, not you. Not, not really not me. Not you, either. Yeah, not me, either. Like, you know? Yeah, we're a tough one. Yeah. <laughs> Doctor is in. Don't scream. Don't move. Stay tuned for Channel 68. Halloween Eve. Who'll be there Are you your ghost host with the most Doctor Wolfenstein? I will be with you until the end. <laughs> Balance, freaks of nature. Well, then come on down to Captain Spaulding's Museum of Monsters and Madness. <laughs> yeah, see the alligator boy. Ride our famous murder ride. Most of all, don't forget to take home some of our tasty fried chicken. Ha <laughs> ha! It just tastes so damn good. We're back here on the All Hallows Eve month. I would say it'd be a month. Yeah, we're right in the start of it. 
So uh, I am your ghostly host. Monster Mash Month. Monster Mash Month. What do you expect this month? What What do you see in the future for this month? Because right now the spirits are are just clamoring to come through. I feel like when you started off with that scene, it's going to be uh, kind of like a, a horror. I mean, usually Halloween can be either funny or... Sp- not this one. No, this I feel like you just... that. I hope that's not like a precipice of what this... I mean, I hope... That was that's pure horror. Based on that, I hope it's not going to be a Texas Chainsaw kind of kind of month. Kind of month. Cause well, that, as long as it's not our family. Yeah, as long as it's not. If us. it's your family, we and apologize. Anybody we know. Yeah. But lately, we've been kind of whatever we talk about seems to happen. Happen. Well, yeah, because your your son did call in. Uh, what uh, three weeks ago? Yes, talking about a fire. And what do you know? That it, he ended up saying, "Oh, it was just just, just kidding." But, just kidding, right? But all of a sudden, it, it happened. It actually happened. Well, um, yeah. we're actually going to talk about uh, how wonderful Halloween is. It's my favorite holiday, yeah. except for the fact a couple of years ago I did get arrested on Halloween. Better than Christmas? Absolutely. Really? Yeah, you like not... to dress up. What are you, you going to dress up up? Uh, a witch. This year you're going to dress up as a witch? <laughs> no, no, I would not dress up as a witch. <laughs> because you, you, I thought you were going to say that because I was wearing nail polish. Oh. Or what? No, eyeliner. Yeah, eyeliner. Yeah. That, not this year. No? What, what's it going to be? Uh, this year, I would definitely be. Uh, well, Is it, it be just awesome? turned. It just turned about one a.m. our time. Oh, yeah. And O.J. Simpson, one of the one of the most famous. You're gonna oh. one of the most famous horror yes. stories. Don't even say you're gonna be O.J. I won't be O.J. this year. Okay. No, I I was gonna say O.J. I, you know I think is the real. What? The real terrifying person on this planet. What? And everybody would expect me to say Trump. Rob Kardashian. So Doctors, no. Exactly, Rob Kardashian. Ooh. Because oh, yeah. he's able, he's able, he's a shapeshifter. How about anybody in the Kardashian family? He, okay, you, do you know what a shapeshifter is? Yeah, I do. I watched your blood. Okay, well, he's gone from a big shape. He to he shrunk. Small, I'm not really sure if he got small, but he's at least a lot of life. Wait a second, I just, I just saw, I just saw him in a, in a. You know what? We don't want to give them any love. I yeah. Because uh, well, they probably sucked it out with a vacuum or something. Like, yeah, you know. and you know what? Uh, would it be Kendall? Well, who Kylie. knows? Any of them really real? Uh. What's her name? Uh, Kakua. <laughs> okay. uh, Kakua. Awful. Awful um, and awful. Kai uh, Kai. Uh, all with K's. Horrible with a K. <laughs> uh, they're all terrible human beings. <laughs> and I would say that uh, they might be America's true horror story. Oh, uh, for sure. But let's okay. not even talk about that. Yeah, please. Uh, let's talk about the fun that's going to be happening this month. There's so many mazes. Oh, I, I just saw I just saw pumpkin patch with a huge mm. like uh, oh, bounty so house. I know. Wow, that's so fun. You know what I'm gonna be? I'm gonna be on the death ride. Blackout. What about that Blackout. house where you have where, you ever been in blackout? I think I heard about is that the one? I, I think went you, to it two you years did? ago. I think you sent me like a, a promo for I it. I did, and this year we're going to. Where? If it's here. If not basically is it's that, here this year? Wait a second. Oh you already have? Mm-hmm. That looks crazy. They give you a safe word. Yeah. They zip tied me in the bag. And they gave me like, and I, like literally around like the fifteen to twenty second mark, uh, I was like, "Oh shit, this is for real!" And then they let me go, and I had to put my hand down into like a toilet to grab a key to save this naked bitch, and I opened up her key lock, and I was expecting more than her just running away, like, "Hey, look at bitch, I'm gonna fucking save you. I don't care if you're an actress or not. I'm a good looking guy." Did you have to say a safe word though? No, I never said the same. Oh, you, well, you, you wanted it more. I became a sexual deviant. I saw it all and I was Just like, Whoa, Ladies, that's calm down. Man. Ladies, calm down. <laughs> Ladies, calm down. I've, I've cured my ways. But if you want your kids to wait, let them see R-rated movies because they'll be terrified of yeah. what they say. I mean, well, so I was. To the I was, real yeah. horror story of this whole, uh, because yes, this is very I, I terrifying. Helped, yep. This is very terrifying. I was a little and, surprised. Yeah, I was. And yeah. I, would like, I would like to post this question out to all of you out there. Mm. On yeah. podcast land, mm-hmm. in what's the play universe, and who cares circumference yeah. of the world? Because you know this has to have happened yeah, before. Because Other you people, know, yeah. I know every single one of you has have looked up somebody, and you know what's crazy? Because I looked, yeah. I looked up a lot of people, Me but too. the one person that I didn't look up was the one that I lost. I know, and I'm so surprised. You're like, I haven't looked this one up yet. I'm like, yeah, oh, why? Oh, I gotta find she out. She didn't last. She wasn't that big. I think you were a little nervous, and I'm like, let me do the search for you. Yeah, but I don't think she even played um, that big. Of, uh, this, I, I would be honest with you. If she played that big of a role in my life, uh, I would say, you know what? That was the most fantastic pussy I've ever had. I know for guys, it's different. Well, but it was a big, a big. I'm sure I was the most uncoordinated. It doesn't matter. It was still like she took. Something. And anybody, your and, innocence. 
I gladly gave her my answers. I mean, yeah. How about that? How about that? I, I mean, think I gave yeah. my answers on Kingdom of the yeah, Dinosaurs like your mom's point or from the your, Log Ride. Just imagine from your mom's point of view. She took her son, her baby's innocence. Yeah, my mom got over that one long time. <laughs> so, um, you know, look, what am I, a fucking 14-year-old girl? I'm a 14-year-old know, boy. 14-year-old boy. 12, 13-year-old yeah, boy. But, whatever. Whatever the age is. I don't know. Fuck, what is it? Eighth grade? I'm sure if your mom had a choice, it would not have been. Well, let's get back to the terrifying yes. aspect of this. Oh, my gosh. It's so spooky. I was so curious. Ooh, ah. it was so spooky, but yet so funny well, at the same time. It was it's, yeah, it's a spooky <laughs> fun. Uh, so we looked up the girl that I lost my virginity to in eighth grade. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. And we, we searched high and low. Yep, we did. Over mountains to Texas to the and Chainsaw we, we, Massacre. We finally got a hit. We finally got... We finally found her. We, and we confirmed and it. it wasn't, wasn't me. It no. was actually all your... Oh, yeah. This was... A, it, yep. I, I, I love challenges of investigating. You know, my... I guess kind of I have a little secret life of being a little private investigator on, on my... Wait, is it really private? <laughs> I know. Is it's it not really private, private when you're on a podcast? Private. It's like my side <laughs> <laughs> Surprise! No, just kidding. No. <laughs> yeah, Surprise, we have all yeah. your pictures. I love the challenge of trying to find somebody Yeah, and connecting the dots. And I think we found it funny right before this, though. We all were partied at my house. Yes. And we found, I go, look at everybody. This is the girl that lost my virginity. Yeah. And everybody like, threw like darts at her face. We were so drunk and we're so like, wow, they, okay, this is the girl uh, you lost. Uh, we got to see and then, yeah. and then you had, was it you or me? I the think, bright idea. Wow, why don't we contact I think it was me because I love looking up. Yeah, we didn't know because because looking at that picture, we thought maybe she possibly had passed away, being from the mean streets of mm-hmm. San Bernardino. She looked tough because I think you said she was kind of on the, She was from the from other the, side of the track. Exactly. She came. She was new or to Ox, the school. New to school. Yeah. Ox blood yeah. docs. Wow. Exactly. Before doctor she was a, She was a cutie, though. In fact, like, I like love girls with like that teeth. Snaggle that, like, tooth. They kind of look like a mouth yeah. breather. I like perfect straight teeth. You like, like a little I bit like, of a little perfection. I like, I, like, I like just a slight yeah, a slight. buck tooth. Yeah. A little bit. A or slight. one out of place a little bit. You know one. what I'm talking about. I know what you're talking about. It's like, she goes uh, like this. She goes like this. Exactly. <gasps> yep. Like, uh, but, and she kind of breathes through her mouth a tiny bit. But in yes. the picture, but it's adorable though, at the same time. And like, all you girls out yeah. there. If mm-hmm. if you spend money on your boobies, like Jewel with her one little cut. no fuck oh, that's Jewel, too much. that's disgusting. <laughs> no, her two. I'm just talking no, about her no. I'm no, talking no, about I'm talking about little, natural. Oh, okay, I mean like the tooth, like you know how it's not one. one no, like oh, karaoke singing player from a coffee shop. Saying, so um, so we looked up this this <laughs> trash ass bitch who I lost my virginity to. No, I'm just kidding. I. I I'm, he loves you because I he, do still love you. he saved your picture. We saved your picture. Yeah. And, and in that picture, you didn't look like that. No, in fact, you're wearing a V-neck <laughs> very similar to the one I'm wearing right now. A white uh, V-neck. I think you guys went to prom or some kind of dance together. No, absolutely no? not. Oh, no. <laughs> just... Absolutely not. I was, going to, I was becoming a freshman. I would never bring her around to anybody. My family, friends. Oh, she was that kind. Of, yeah. Like no, she was. Man. She was very beautiful. I know. I'm saying like the dirty, like the one that's kind of like like dirty, too, too rebel. Yeah. yeah, dirty. Like, like yeah. nowadays you would call it Craigslist. <laughs> <laughs> or, I mean, I don't know. What, like, what's the worst you could do? Craigslist? Get the fuck out of my room before my mom sees you. <laughs> yeah, what would be the worst place you could find a oh, match? Oh, the back of an OC Weekly page or something like that. Mm, LA or the back of a dumpster. <laughs> the back page.com. The back of an auto trader. <laughs> Back page would actually be Backpage. a main. Backpage.com Well, whatever. She, uh, the back of Auto Trader. <laughs> at the time, I think it was something called the LA Express. No, I'm just kidding. I, I paraded around like she was like somebody. I'm like, this is my girlfriend. Huh. <laughs> Except school wasn't in session. It was, it was in the summer. So... I don't know who I was praying around to. <laughs> Down the I think, street. Yeah, we went to Sunshine Burger. <laughs> Where nobody was walking around. <laughs> I think we went to the CD store. That's about it. But you know what? I had that girl on my arm. Yeah. For two days. Two whole days. Two whole days. Yeah, and then it was like... And then she met some guy named oh, uh, Evan, uh, Richard. Oh, that sounds about right. Yeah, yeah, Richard. But he had a leather jacket and, and a car. they called him Rich? Or they called him Dick or something for sure? They just called him Rich. Yeah. Richie. 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 <laughs> I think that's what they called him. But he had a he had like a Trans Am or something, <laughs> and she's like, "Peace out, motherfucker." I rock, yeah, yeah, for sure. So, like, peace out, motherfucker. Yeah, uh, I found some new dick. And then she went back to the other side of the tracks again. And she probably told him that she was a virgin as well. Yeah. And she was only this poor girl. Wow. If only her parents knew she I, was I she was she was cock hopping. <laughs> she was cock hopping. And pretend to be somebody she wasn't. What do you mean? Her parents? Well, she only had one of them probably around. It was uh, okay, probably like what, her, her parents. Yeah. Somebody would, yeah. Parents. No, no offense. 
I mean, that's, there's great hey, single parents, but she didn't have them. She hey, didn't have that great single parent. She didn't have that one single no. parent that actually cared. She had a caboose, train tracks, and, and it was all that's on right. the wrong side. And, and you know what? And we would have showed her a life of luxury. Actually, no, we wouldn't have. But you know what? Actually, no, we wouldn't have. We defined her. She's not doing bad. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay. So I'm not jumping is, ahead. I'm on, just saying. On. I'm just You're saying. jumping ahead a little bit. I'm not really. I'm just saying. So this is when it gets to the nightmare. This is when it becomes the nightmare. <laughs> We want everybody to enjoy the next month of October. Please, safely. With a I pH. <laughs> With a pH. And make sure that the demons that you encounter are only us. <laughs>